Alright guys, uh, this is my video review on Compez. Um, everybody's been asking me, how do you do all these effects? Uh, how do you modify them, etc.? Um, what can we do, or can you show us an exact... Well, it's uh, not too hard, but it does take some tweaking, and uh, you could obviously mess up your system if you don't know what you're doing by adding all these uh, checks everywhere but I'll give you a general idea how I how I do my uh, how I do my uh, compass for you guys and how you guys can modify it and do a couple things um, let's go to OpenGL oh, that's good that's you definitely need that uh, magnifier this is where you go tweak things out right here you see um, pretty much you can you initiate. You can change the initiation to whatever uh, whatever you like, whatever command you want on your keyboard. Um, obviously, this is alternative M. So alternative M, I'll do that for you. And then you would press it again to take it away. That's how easy that is. All right, let's go to another one. Um, Let's go to show mouse. This is a pretty cool one. Um, enable it. Obviously, every time you get the plugin, you would have to enable it. Enable the show mouse. And what happens sometimes when you check that box, the the OS goes kind of spastic, so or you'll get all these error messages and stuff like that. So that's why on my distros, uh, the Unity Dark 12.4, everything's customized for you. Um, it's all checked out. You won't get those error messages or anything like that. So um, it's just a lot of uh, f f uh, you know, just a lot of tweaking and trying trying out and messing up a couple OS is trying to get all the combinations right so for this one the mouse is uh, super NK which is the Windows key or uh, which is super is uh, super is the Windows key on your left hand side in between the control and alternative key so you press uh, super NK and, and you have that effect okay very cool if you want to do here it gives you the radius the speed you go slow speed it up really quickly if you like it just leave it at the speed at where we're at um, put more leave it at 3 radius you can make it narrow wider and here's another thing as well which is pretty cool you can change your color this is the color I chose um, you can change a lot of other kind of little things here and let's go to there now you got the little rainbow color, which is pretty cool. But I like my color better, the one I chose. So that's how easy it is. So you change the color you like. Just go here. Say you want to, we want to go kind of purplish or something like that. Let's uh, swing there and choose something there. And press OK. There you are. Cool. All right, we'll take that out. Um, let's go back here. Say so you want to get rid of the the little flames around there. All you do is press Super and K, which is like I said between the control and the alternative key, uh, the one that has a window sign most of the time. There you go. There's that. All right, let's go to. Let's see what else I can show you guys here. All right, let's go to the desktop cube. This is how I have it set up for you guys. I probably wouldn't change this. This is what's set by default, and uh, we'll look at it really quickly. How this one works is control, alternative, Control, alternative, down would give you that. What should give you that feature right there? Let go and it goes back to default. Control, alternative, and the mouse, the left hand key mouse will give you that and you'll be able to control it to whatever your liking is. That's how easy that is. Alright, let's go to something else now. Um, 
rotate cube. Yep, it, this is just give you all the initiations, but that's probably the quickest way. I, I probably wouldn't modify those. I never modify those. I just leave those as standard. Um, Unity plugin, obviously this. I have this set up for you guys already, so probably wouldn't tweak it unless you guys know what you're doing on this. Um, there's a couple things. I really don't get into this uh, Unity tweaking too much, so I'll leave that alone. I'll get more into the Compez stuff. 3D Windows. This is very cool. This is already enabled. Always make sure everything's enabled what I'm showing you guys so it could work. I'll show you what this does. The 3D Windows gives you that 3D look right there, which you see right there. Alright, so if you want you can disable that and it'll just give you a flat look. Just uh, but it does if I do that it does does spastic things to uh, do it. So I enabled everything. Animations. This is one of my favorite ones. As you can see, it gives you a lot of features and everything. Enable and, and animations, animations. Um, basically, for open an animations, you could choose what you like. Obviously, I got a lot of things. Let's open something up. You see that? That was the airplane, which is pretty cool. Close that. Let's open uh, Firefox and see what it does. See, that's your open animations. That's what that does for you. I preloaded this distro with random effects. So what I did is, <clears throat> excuse me one second. What I did is basically, on all of them I went on random and basically checked all the ones I wanted to random, which were all of them. Uh, for close animations, I put the burn, which is basically what you see. Let's open this. Can you do that? open and close burn which is pretty cool we, you guys could change it to whatever you like um, here's all the options um, up to, I'll show you a bit more stuff how to tweak it and stuff like that so for close minimize burn shade uh, random effects I put random here for shade animations focus dodge effect settings there's so much stuff with this it's just it's just crazy um, it's hard. I don't even know everything, but I just uh, I just know pretty much the basic stuff. What I do for all the OSs. Um, so that was animations. Let's go to animations add-ons. Okay. This is what you. This is a good tweak out. I guess I wouldn't tweak with this too much unless you know what you're doing. I'll show you what I did for the burn one the burn effect that I have I chose kind of a pinkish color which looks pretty cool see that gives you that kind of effect and we'll play around with it a little bit and you see I've added fire smoke which is a feature which was that little smoky look that you see we could take that out if you like you see that's gone now now we go even to random colors let's have a look at what that does See that? Completely different now. I'll do that again. That's your cup of tea. And let's just uh, say that you don't like that pinkish color that I have there. You could change it to whatever you like. Kind of like the same the other one I showed you guys. So there's that. Get away from that. I'm sorry. Let me just go back to animations. The airplane, you can make uh, how you want it flown in, the explosion, the beam, um, the color that you want it, change the colors around the explosion, how you want it to explode, um, the thickness, and etc. So there's that. Um, let's go to um, the cube reflection. Alright, I'll show you a couple things on this one because I do tweak this one out for you guys. Let's start with uh, cubes. This, the These are the very top cubes up here, the very top right there, which are those. Um, I put my own images. If you leave it standard, I'll come with uh, some, uh, some different images, but if you use my OS, this is already pre-tweaked out for you guys. So, 
you can change the behavior of things around. Um, obviously, load up a different uh, picture. It does take JPEG, PMG uh, files, so just make sure you at, what you need to do is you could, uh, for instance, say here, you just delete it, add a new one, and I'll put it to the top image. If you had a couple of them, you'll see, you have a list of a couple of them. I'll just show you what exactly what I'm talking about. Um, we could delete that one, and let's I'll show you what happens. See, I might have to restart. Let's go to new here. And let me just get one of my pictures from my. Let me just choose something. Choose that one. There you are. And same goes for the bottom one. So that's how easy it is to tweak that out. Um, reflection pretty much uh, you can make it jumpy you do a lot of other things, a distance above, jumpy reflection see that? just how it changes things above kind of gives it different settings I like the jumpy. This is the one I keep it at. Um, for this, if you guys don't like the cylinder look and you guys are used to the cube, I'll show you how easy it is to change it back to the cube. Go to none, and you're back to the cube. Uh, go to that, you have that. Go to cylinder, you have my cylinder back, which I have it at. Very cool. All right, let's go move on. Fading windows. Uh, here we go. Here's one for you guys. You guys probably like this. This one. You change the color on it. This is for the fire and the compass effects. Uh, let's go. What it is? I don't know. Control primary and left. All right. This one. How I have it set up on this. This one's not on Unity. I just did this for the video. <coughs> Excuse me. One second. So I'll show you control and that you got fire. And let's disable that. All right, disable that. So to clear, just go there and it'll tell you what the shift, super, and C. So it tells you all the options how to clear it and everything. Alright, let's go to. So I showed you that. Trifectors, windows, leave that alone. Not much there to show you. Water effects, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, let's go with that is shift and alternative. I'll show you how this works out. This is pretty cool, this one. See, there's your water effects. I, I triggered the wiper blade out, so... And you could do a whole bunch of things, rain and etc., but it just... It's just... It gets too out of control doing all that stuff. So there's that. Uh, wobbly windows, which is these. Just leave it alone, just enable it, don't bother doing anything else. That's my recommendation. Um, let's go for a couple other things. Uh, let's go to the main stuff. Uh, no, you don't need to know too much about this stuff. Um, switch applicator. I'll show you this one. Control primary key. So did this. This one's preset for you guys. What I set it up is for control and tab, but you can change it to whatever your liking is. So that's what that does. You do the rear ring uh, appearance, change it around, change the icons around, etc. Do that. Um, shift windows, which is this is a very cool one, uh, which is uh, shift and super which does that 
and then shift and tab would do this for you guys that's how I set it up on mine but choose whatever you want to you can change it there change, grab key combinations and just ch change them to whatever you like there to whatever uh, two keys that you like to use um, that's that um, and that's it if you guys have any questions um, on how to do this or if you have any issues but one thing with unity you do have a lot of issues trying to get a good combination of all of these right so if you like uh, feel free to copy what I have here and uh, maybe have it for your uh, for your unity or your in any other OS that uh, works with uh, the compass thanks for watching bye